Um, we still got a lot of work to do. Um, I, I think we're a better team than what the results say we are, but um, that doesn't matter. And I just got done telling the team that when, when things get tough like this, you got two choices. You fight back and you work even harder or you give up. And I um, also told them if, if anybody doesn't want to stay on, on board with this ride with us, um, let me know now and get off because I know where this is going. Um, we just haven't had the results earlier that we need. Did you sense at, at any point today on your sideline there were guys that were a little, you know, reverting back to 2017? Or is, is that why you said that before? No, there's no reverting back to 2017. We just have to make sure that everybody does a better job and everybody practices habits that um, lead to championships. And um, we have a lot to fix. Coaches have a lot to fix. Players have a lot to fix. Little things lead to small things. The same little things bit us today, um, spotting them points, giving up special teams play, turning the ball over, dumb penalties. Um, I can't tell you how much we talked about that all week and happens again. So we got to do a better job as coaches. Coach, how tough is it to teach a team how to win and how do you do that? It's just got to happen. They've been working hard enough. They deserve to to win, and they deserve to win a bunch of games as hard as they've been working. Um, sometimes it's got to happen, and once it does, things get a lot better. But I, I got a bunch of guys in the locker room that are broken hearted. No, you know, it doesn't hurt anybody worse than the coaches and um, those guys in the locker room. And nobody's happy with what's happened. Um, so we have we all have a lot of work to do. Andrews play today. I thought he did a good job getting thrown in uh, to that situation. Um, you know, both kids did. We, we've started two kids that are both freshmen in their first start ever in our first two games after we lost that first one. And I thought Adrian played really well in the first one for what we asked Bunchy to do. I thought he did a good job. You know, we. We kind of wanted to ugly the game up and lean on them early, and uh, that's impossible to do once you give up a punt return and turn the ball over and you spot them, two, you know, you spot them two scores. Um, and we had to lean on them. When we asked him to make the throws, I thought he made some really good throws and did some good things. Um, but we got off of our rhythm and game plan early, and what we went into the game wanting to do because of uh, how the first quarter went. Was there ever a thought in your head of bringing in? Uh, Adrian Martinez? No, Adrian wasn't ready to go today. Um, he actually looked really good in warm-ups, but I, I, we were just worried about it. He's going to be a long, here a long time, and our decision is going to be made based on his long-term health more than anything, and uh, that wasn't an option. Looking ahead to next week, Michigan on the road, what are you guys going to work on most in practice? What are we going to work on the most? Football. Special teams, you mentioned. Um, that's been something the last two weeks you haven't got a lot out of. How do you improve that area of the game, and what do you want to see from that area? You know, it's got to matter. It's got to matter to everybody more. We had great effort in special teams this week, a lot better attention to detail. Um, well, you know, the one penalty is on me. I, I got done with the drive, was frustrated. We didn't uh, get it in the end zone. I wasn't even looking at the play clock, and we got to uh, delay a game penalty. I don't know if he would have made that or not. Um, certainly don't want to burn a timeout there. We got to take the field better. And, and get that whole thing going faster. But that one's on me. Um, field position was, other than them muffing a punt, was decidedly in their favor. And we got to fix that. Um, got to be able to make some plays on special teams. And, and those kind of things in, in a tight game, those are, those are the key things in a tight game. From a layman's standpoint, Scott, it looked like the offensive line took a step back today, maybe after last week. Was that, was that the way you saw it? Or? I don't. I don't know. Uh, I have to watch the film. We we certainly didn't run for as many yards. Um, now, if I was a D coordinator on the other side, I'd, and I saw an, another quarterback and a redshirt freshman making his first start, I'd get a lot of people in the box, and that's what they did. They were inserting the will off the weak side, safety to the field, um, sending people, giving us different looks, um, and. They were kind of giving us underneath routes, not deep ones, because they were getting a lot of people in the box and playing deep over the top of everything. So re really, the way to beat that was an intermediate passing game, um, maybe some quarterback runs. And uh, we just didn't want to sell out with that game plan. We, we, uh, 
we we thought we'd be able to run it on them, and and at times we did, just not consistently enough. What did you think of the defense today? Same thing. I thought at times they played great. Again, I got to watch the tape. Um, you know, it, we needed the black shirts and the often in the pipeline to win this game today and rally and win it uh, and special teams. And I think at times all all of those positions, uh, position groups, units did good enough to win. But um, as a whole, you got to give a lot of credit to Troy for coming in and. Um, making more plays than we did. You mentioned the talk you had to the guys in the locker room. Is your early sense of this group that they're the kind of group that is going to want, is going to fight back from what you learned about them? Yeah, when I got here, I heard that last year that's not what happened. Um, that's not the sense I get from them. The sense I get from them, from them is they want to be great, um, and the effort they've been giving us lead me to believe they want to be great. Um, you know, we got a tough game next week. So this can get worse before it gets better, but it's always darkest before the dawn, and I know where this is going. So I want every guy in that locker room to be on board with us. So as you as you think about this, is just generally speaking, philosophically, you get <coughs> tougher on a team like this, or do you love them up more? Like, what's your philosophical approach when when a team loses too close? Like if I change who I am and what I do, and our coaches change who they are and what they do because of results, then we're not being honest in the first place and we're not being real in the first place. We might work even harder, redouble our efforts, try to keep trying to fix the things that are wrong, but nobody's going to change. Do you notice any real parallels between these guys now and the guys when you were coming to UCF and you were trying to build them back up? Yeah, I, it's not about a different team. It's about this one. But I think um, any time you, you're trying to get something fixed, um, you got to figure out how to win. You got to figure out how not to make the mistakes that get you beat. Um, year ones are, you know, usually in close games, those teams don't win the close games. And by year two, when you got culture and everything established, usually you win those close games. But we're not doing little things right to win close games. We've been in two of them, and we're 0-2 in them. Did you get an explanation on the Muhammad Perry targeting? No, he was on the other sideline, and I didn't see it. Um, so I'm sure it'll be reviewed and looked at. I know Mo is, he plays his, his tail off and he's not malicious. So if it happened, I know it wasn't intentional. That's all I'd say about it. Did he say anything to you? I didn't have time to talk to Mo. We were in the middle of a, a game and he had to leave the field. On that punt return, did you see, uh, their, their touchdown punt return, did you see anything that stuck out? That, uh, no, I saw us miss a couple tackles. That's all I really saw. and. Um, Again, I get a lot, of, a lot of credit to them, but we have a lot to fix. Is your, is your punter, is that where you want your punter to be trying to attempt that? Tackle? There's a lot of things we have to fix um, to make sure that those things don't happen. Anything else for Coach? Thanks, guys.